Despite being one of the 10 most violent cities in the world, Cape Town is a tourist mecca, possibly because it is also thought of as one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Homicides are at an all-time high, which is largely related to the substantial increase in gang-related violence and drug trafficking. Statistics show that at least one woman is the victim of a sexual assault in Cape Town every hour of every day. Although Acapulco is home to gorgeous beaches and resorts, it is also home to plenty of violence as two rival gangs fight for control of the area's lucrative drug trade. Currently, Acapulco is ranked the most violent city in Mexico, largely due to it having the highest murder rate in the country. In fact, the US government has opted to ban all employees from traveling to the city. Dismembered bodies and shootings in broad daylight are the norms. A favorite travel destination of tourists intent on going on safaris, Nairobi is at high risk of terror attacks by the terrorist group Al-Shabaab. The area has been subjected to terrorist attacks involving the use of guns, grenades, and other explosive devices in the past five years. While the risk of similar attacks is high, kidnappings, armed carjackings, burglaries, and bombings are of great concern. It is worth noting that U.S. citizens and embassy employees have reported being the victim of these types of crimes in the past. Crime, particularly carjackings, armed robberies, sexual assaults, and gang rapes, is a constant cause of worry in Papua New Guinea. Currently, there is significant tension between clan groups in the area, which has resulted in attacks using firearms, machetes, and bush knives. Although tourists may not be the target, in this case, they can easily get caught in the crosshairs. Tourists are often the target of pickpockets and bag snatchers, who may even open the doors of cars moving slowly in traffic to get what they are after. Political protests are a fact of life in Cairo, often with little to no advance warning. This has led to violent clashes between demonstrators and the police, resulting in severe injuries and even death. Several terrorist organizations also operate out of Cairo and have been known to resort to car bombs, drive-by shootings, and explosive devices in an effort to take out the police and government officials. Unfortunately, this also leaves innocent bystanders, including tourists, at risk for injury.